Chris said that he thought your guys' energy level in the second half wasn't what it should have been. Did you guys notice that the energy wasn't there? Yeah, we, yeah. I mean, we didn't we didn't come out of the second half ready to play. You know, when you're playing a team like Virginia, they're gonna be persistent with what they do. That's why they're a top five team in the country year after year. And uh, we didn't come out ready to play. You make ten three pointers in the first half. How does that affect your mindset? And do you do you trust that you're on, or do you think you know maybe this is fool's gold? Yeah, well, one of the things we talked about at halftime is we got to get more twos. We had one two point field goal in the first half, and that, that's not a formula for winning. Not for Louisville, maybe if you're Golden State, but um, I'm sure it does give you confidence. I think if you make 10 threes in the first half, really if you make 12 threes in the game, that's enough to win. We have to get more in the paint going towards the basket. What is it about Virginia's defense that makes it so difficult to try and score on? Uh, they just do a really good job of squeezing the floor. Uh, limiting paint touches and just really solid. They guard ball screens really well and they can test all shots. Kristen, after the effort on Wednesday night at Syracuse, is there anything, what positive can you take out of out of this? I mean, Virginia is obviously one of the best teams in the country. You led them by, by 10 at the half. Coach seemed somewhat encouraged at least uh, at what you were able to do in the first half. Yeah, we played a good 20 minutes. You can look at that and, and take the positives, but once again, up 10, when you lose, it's just, you know, it's unacceptable. You know, we, we've blown leads now, I think three of the last five games, and you can go to Syracuse and just get annihilated. It's, we got to change, you got to be more resilient. got to be tougher, you got to be able to withstand runs. The way we're playing right now is, is is just unacceptable. You talked about getting more in the paint. How do you guys go about being more successful down there? Yeah, I think we you know we got to get more out of our post players, and then the guards have to be more aggressive, getting in the lane, getting paint touches. Um, always trying to play inside out. That's that's our game plan. Um, which, uh, so yeah, just guards got to drive the ball. And and Big's got to be better. Somebody told you that you the guy and Jerome weren't going to hit a single three pointer. What would have been? But going into the game, what would have been? Yeah, we the did the job on Guy and Jerome. I mean, we gave up some open ones, but we made it really tough on them. Thought we did a good job giving them different looks, but uh, we didn't do the job on DeAndre Hunter. Kristen, Hunter has 26 points. What did you see out of him today? He's a really good player. That's why he's a projected lottery pick. I mean, he can go inside, he can go outside. He's athletic, and he's a good defender. When you're having so much trouble finishing uh, close to the rim, as a point guard, does that affect your attitude about what you're trying to accomplish, what you're looking for, and particularly when the threes are going down? Mm -hmm. Say yes and no. I mean, obviously, when Ryan and Jordan are on the court, anytime they're at the three-point line, we're looking to get them the ball. I mean, they're obvious threats. But uh, no, I mean, even if the threes are going down, still, I'm still looking to play inside out, looking to throw the ball in the post, looking to you know hit rolls and, and get downhill. You know, get to get in the paint. Doesn't really change my mentality. The way this month has gone, how do you guys right the ship and I guess put a full game together and try to get some wins? I just got to pick ourselves up. You know, we don't have time to feel sorry for ourselves. We knew this was going to be a tough stretch. You know, we did our part and fumbled some games away, and then you know we we've gotten beat a few times. But you know, it's the ACC. It's the best league in the country. Uh, you know, we can we can still make it. You know, the the still accomplish the things we want to do. We could go in the ACC tournament, and take that momentum into the NCAA tournament. Kristen, you said we've got to change. You have to be more resilient. Have to be tougher. How does how do you actually go about doing those things? I think it's just a mentality. I mean, we you know for the first. 
probably 24, 25 games of the year, we were we were that team. And somehow we've gotten away from it. I mean, I don't know if it's, I know the, the hot take is that the Duke game has shot everybody's confidence. Uh, you know, if that's the case and that's soft, we need to move on past that. Um, but, you know, I think it's just a mentality that we had at the beginning of the year. We just got to get back to doing what we're doing. Being tough, being able to withstand runs when you play good teams, it's hard to beat them the whole game without allowing runs. If you're up 10 and they cut it to four, that's okay. You just got to go back out there and keep playing.